Hi, so today we are going to study the experiment which is titled Lighting Study of the Facades. The objective of this study is to um, understand how different facades reflect the light um, that is falling onto it. And in the long term, students can actually visualize these facades playing a big role in uh, uh, in determining or, or in incorporating natural lighting inside the buildings. Here we have all the equipment that we'll, we are going to require for this experiment. First, we have the plain walls from the house. Uh, there are three of these walls that we are going to use. And uh, additionally, we have the house base with us. We also have in this box uh, different facades. So this is a zigzag facade. There are two of these provided in the kit. And then there is a, there is a plain facade uh, that we are going to, again, uh, there are two of these. Uh, the, and there is a curved facade that we'll, we'll be using just in a while. Uh, the idea is for the students to make any types of facades uh, using the paper, uh, whatever they can make, uh, whatever they want to make, they can make and they can perform this experiment. Additionally, uh, there are also a couple of clips for the house assembly or uh, semi house assembly, which we are just going to see. And we have two more equipment that are not part of the kit, uh, which we are going to use here. One is the torch, as you can see. Uh, and another thing is the the light meter this is the light meter or lux meter um, so we can i mean we would know already how this work this is the uh, this is a sensor of light meter and we are going to use this sensor for this experiment so we are looking at the assembly part of this experiment first i will uh, take the house and assemble it so on the base i will take the wall such that my uh, um, lined surface is outside and I will assemble it. So I will match this this thing here with the hole that is provided on the base as you can see. Then I am taking the other wall and again matching this notch with the hole. Then here you can see there is a slot provided for the clip. I will use this clip and I will fix this edge of the house. So there is a small um, there is a, a small nuance to this assembly that the base here is not equal sided on each uh, edge or each side because uh, to ac um, accommodate for the the thickness of the of the wall and hence we have to just 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 move around the world to see which side goes perfectly uh, on on that uh, which, which wall goes on which side perfectly similarly now i will assemble the third third side and here again i will use the clip for it
this might take a little bit of time just to get all the edges perfectly right and now you can see uh, that all, all the edges are matching all the sides of the base this house assembly or semi assembly is complete so i will place it here and the second thing that i'm going to do is uh, i'll just show you how we are going to use these different facades so the first facade here is the curved facade this is how it would go inside the house Similarly, if you want to reverse this curve, we can just reverse this, this thing here. And the other kinds of facades here. This is the plain facade. This is how it goes inside the house. And yes. And the third facade that we have provided here is the zigzag facade. As I said, we are not limited to using these facades. We can experiment with whatever facades the students might come up with. Also, uh, the next thing which I will show you is, to, is how to use the torch. So let's say we have this facade here right now. I will require this box to just give this torch a bit of height. We can use anything, uh, books or, or whatever we have for, uh, just to to provide height here. So we have to align this and keep this approximately a distance of 50 centimeter. I have kept torch like this and I have switched on the torch. So this is how I will assemble the experiment. The lux meter here, what I will do is when I use it, I will use it on top of the torch to take the readings of reflections. Once we have finalized the whole setup, we will move towards the procedure of the experiment. Uh, to start the experiment, I will switch on this torch here and just make sure that the whole assembly is in alignment with each other. And as you can see, the torch is reflecting the light from uh, the facade the next part here is to use the the sensor of the lux meter i will power on the lux meter and just one thing to also keep in mind we have to perform this experiment with as much um, as little surrounding light as possible just to give us the the best uh, possible understanding or idea of how much this light is, is reflected. So as you can see, we have minimized the, the outside light in this room and we are just focusing on the, the torch here. So what I'll do is I will keep the sensor just on top of the torch to take first reading. I have okay so it's giving me as 72 lux now lux is the the unit of uh, light as you would already know and we have the table prepared here for our observations the first re uh, reading that I've gotten for flat roof is 73 what I will do is, I will just shift my sensor 
towards the right approximately 10 centimeters towards the right for my next reading in the same line just to see how much light it is diverging from this facade so i'm getting a value of 66 here which i'll note down i will just go another 10 centimeters away approximately of course again uh, to to come here in the same line to note down the reading the third reading that i am getting is 49 similarly i will go on the other side to a 10 centimeter distance approximately So on the other side, I am getting a reading of 58 and I will go another 10 centimeter apart. I am getting a reading of 47 lux. What I will do is I will take out an average of these values here and I'll note it down. Once I, I will move to the next facade here. This is my zigzag facade. And I will repeat the same procedure with respect to lux meter to get this set uh, here actually and then do the other two sets also to then compare the average value that will give me an understanding of how much heat uh, sorry how much light is being reflected through these facades and this will this can be helpful uh, to design my structure in such a way that i can make the best use of reflective light by introducing these facades in the structure thank you